Hello guys, my name is Kong and today I'm going to do a, a movie review for you guys. Today I'm going to be talking about traffic. Traffic is basically, you know, what this, the title of the movie is. It's traffic is about a um, young woman being trafficked for sex. It's basically sex trafficking. Um, so in, in the United States. And I believe, I, I, think, I, I think this was taking place in LA, uh, in, the, in California I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm thinking it's in LA because the one of the characters is actually is like a sport agent and That's kind of how I kind of picked it up and just the location. I feel like it's in California But anyway, let's talk about the pros and the con and what I thought about the movie and then the, my, uh, my My score and my recommendation so the pro there's a lot of uh you know, this movie overall, overall have a, a message, you know, a, a, a message to the audience. And that's what it really sticks out to me. It's really about doing the right thing, you know, how trying to help others who are in desperate need, especially that woman who was held hostage to, held hostage and, um, you know, she was, tr the, the, the protagonist, the lady, she was trying to help her, you know, and she even invited her to come into the house, exposing sex trafficking, you know, when she got the, uh, um, you know, when she got the, uh, the, uh, the, the cell phone or the satellite phone, she took picture of it and she downloaded it, uh, and she sent it out. So she was smart. She, she realized that it was a sex trafficking of young women and she she knew she had to take action because you know she was she was a woman she is a woman herself and she have to fight for other women who are in suffering and she she did not have to do it but she did it because it was the right thing to do it was uh, for other and for herself you know she had that moral obligation to do the right thing you know so i like that uh, there's this this movie really showed the kind of the, the the light of their corrupted official. I mean, there at the end, the guy, the, the I guess you could say the newspaper director or manager, I should say, hey, you know, there you this would shed light on uh, politicians and uh, top official who look blindsided to uh, this sex trafficking uh, industry. You know, this operation, and she, that these people are gonna come after her, and she like, you know what? Have them come out, have them come at me because she kind of she went through all that trouble, and she's like, this is nothing new, you know. So, but the that there is there this movie show that there are individuals who are corrupted, you know, that there are people who are part of the organs, part of the uh, human sex trafficking, uh, you can say uh, underground. Uh, movement or underground uh, um, industry, you know, the cop, the sheriff was involved, the uh, uh, the gas station lady was involved, the, the the truck guys was involved, the motorcycle guys was involved. So it was like a lot of people was involved in that, in this sex trafficking operation. So it was like it, it really exposed uh, corruptions, you know, obviously by money, you know. So, and I like that, uh, um, I kind of already talked about this, uh, she, this protagonist standing up, being a woman, protecting others, and so that's what the, the message was, and that's what I like about this movie, that is really about, one, standing up, doing what's the right thing, helping others, uh, not just for you, but for others, and making sure you expose the people who are hosts should be held accountable. The con. The acting of the whole cast was all right. I feel like it was below all right. You know, it was not was not a strong suit, for, not a strong suit of, of the movie. The friendship among the, 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 the three friends, you know, the, um, the girls and her boyfriend and then the, his guy friend and his wife, it was okay. I feel like it was a mutual friend. It didn't feel like it was you can tell that they were friends for many, many, many years. I feel like they were friends just for a few years, you know. Uh, the love between Bree and John don't feel genuine. 
don't feel authentic or deep. It feel very s surface, uh, almost uh, superficial to me in my eyes. It's just their relationship and their chemistry just don't. Uh, they don't. They don't show the chemistry. It just doesn't feel real or look real. Um, just doesn't look authentic to you. To my eye, it just feel like young girlfriend. And uh, if to me, it's like a teenager being in love. It's not adult being in love. Despite them being adult, it feel like there are uh, kids in love. That's how I would describe it. Uh, no character depth for the entire cast. It was really, like I said, superficial, really uh, on the surface for all the characters. Um, you don't know anything about the villain. They're just there because they are they're uh, they're operative and they're part of the uh, you know industry. So they're just cog in a wheel. Uh, Bree unsure of a uh, Bree unsure character does not fit. As a journalist, it just doesn't fit, you know. Her character, she's kind of like one of those characters who's not sure what she wants in life, and she knows that she wants to be a journalist, but it just feels like she's not driven to me, she's not motivated. Um, I understand that we all can be unsure, but pursuing something that you love and you you, you dream you should have some motivation you should have some drive she lacks all of that yet she did a really good thing you know exposing corruptions and all that stuff but her character just doesn't fit to my eyes uh, and also I don't really care about John's death even though his death is supposed to be monumental it's supposed to be impactful to our main characters uh in her life because that was her love of her life is there was the man who she was gonna marry this is the man who may she may love to this is the man she was meant to be and he was gonna propose to her she even wore his ring so it's his death was not an impact it fell flat and that's really too bad and it really should be a, a low point for the character and should be give a character more a motivation that, that she shouldn't take his life for granted you know and also one last thing is that the action part they slow mo all of that every single time it's like come on this is not an action movie this is the realistic movie it should be cash like normal people normal you know criminal you know you don't have to slow down slow down every time it's just it feel corny it feel inappropriate it's just not right for this kind of movie and then also one thing i i point out is like why didn't she grab the shotgun why didn't she check there was any ammo in the shotgun or check the guys for uh the keys in the guy's pocket and how did the uh, the criminal know that the two couple have went into the next door neighbor's house. How does he even know? Is it ju just by chance? You know, why didn't they ask the guy and say, Hey, do you have a gun? We need to have this bad guy is trying to kill us. It just doesn't jive for me. It just didn't really, this character didn't really think, didn't really, uh, um, you know, be smart about the situation. I mean, yes, I understand, you know, they went to a physical and uh, psychological trauma, you know. I understand that part, but there is a time where you need to, uh, you know, to fend for yourself. You have to fight for yourself, you know, for your life. So I felt like that was kind of, you know, it was a little, like, unrealistic to me. It felt like it was a, a loophole. It felt like they just dropped the ball in that part. Uh, it wasn't interwoven well together, and that's the you where I I often use. So, what is the rating I would give this movie? I give this movie a four out of ten. It's because I like the message of this this movie. It is based on a true event. Um, sadly, 
the acting and the story just didn't really do the true story justice. I feel bad because all those young women who are abused and uh, were used for sex are almost put in vain in my eyes, in my feeling, and to my understanding. So it's like it, they fell short on that part. I feel like it should have been a more uh, realistic, a more tr dramatic, a more uh, emotional um, movie. And it should be. This is not all that. It's, it's not emotional. It's not uh, um, realistic. It's not gritty. It's not realistic, uh, emotional. It doesn't have any of that. And yeah, it's just more about actions and uh, guns and badass. It's just... I couldn't take this movie serious, seriously enough. It, to me, it feel like it was a joke to me and a joke to the, to uh, uh, to the uh, to the survivor of the being being side trafficked. You know, it's just to me, it feel like an insult. So that's why I only gave it a four out of ten. I would not recommend you go watch this movie. Uh, it's just so hard to take it serious at times. That's why I give this a 4. I would not recommend you go watch this movie again, guys. Don't go watch it. Watch other movies. But anyway, I want to say, please, guys, please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, and browse my YouTube channel. I have a lot of content on there for you guys to check out. Please do so. And also, press that bell button because it will help me and it help you. And you know that I upload a video for you guys to check out. Please do so. And most importantly, I want to thank you so much for your time and effort to watching my movie review of Traffic. Take care guys. Bye bye.